so hi thru uh, this uh, you are on the platform of the you talks uh, this is basically a group formed by some of my friends and for taking the initiative of taking the interview from with various different personalities of different fields and we are fortunate to have you uh, so for everyone thru thru is a three time all india rank holder uh, ar4 in uh, in cpt ar14 in ipcc and ar19 in final Drew is extremely passionate about the subject law and started guiding the students. Uh, he has also has his website uh, drewdaga.in for the guidance you may have visit. So Drew, uh, let's uh, have a brief introduction about your entire CA journey. Okay, hi Siraj, how are you? Yeah, so, I, like talking about my CA final journey, like I'll take three small incidents from each different stage and pick out a learning that I got from each of those stages. So like for, at the CPT level, if you were to talk about, so like CPT when we were young, we just started out with our CA journey. And at that time I gave my exam. So my exam went well, but the uh, result I had, and then I never knew that there is something known as an all India ranker also. So that was the first time that I got an idea or taste of something that there is something that you can be compared or there's some sort of uh, distinction that is given. So what I realized at that level was you can never plan for an all India rank. So what you need to do is be the best. You, you need to go on working. You need to become a better version of yourself. Because if you plan for say this much, this number of a particular score, you want a 530, you want a 540. So you end up limiting yourself and everything doesn't go in your way. So if you try to set something, so that becomes sort of like a pressure to you. So you, you need to work as in, you need to work as though you want to become a better version of yourself. That was what I learned out in CPT. Then when I came on to intermediate, so I gave one of the mock tests for inter. At that time, the, my mock test didn't go out so well. I had studied well, I had prepared, I had revision bhi kiya tha. But intermediate, mein that mock somehow didn't go out well. That's when I figured out one of the reasons was that relaxation or getting yourself acclimatized back to like being rejuvenated and that is equally important like watching something like tv dekhna ya having a proper amount of sleep all of that is very important so for three hours of that exam you find that you are stressed out you are worked and you are not in a position enough to give the exam properly in those three hours so like from that day, probably throughout, jitna CA final ke end takke, there wouldn't have been a single day when I would have slept less than seven hours in a day. So, yeh sab choti choti cheeze, like, even like social media se, I was still connected. I had the screen time restrictions, ki 15 minutes se jada make rekhna hai, and all of that. But all of those relaxing things are equally important as studies. Then at CA final, like this is after I crossed out my CA final. So the institute sent us on a scholarship for a management development program where I got to meet a lot of rank holders of the country also. So like each one different has their own charm and inspiring stories of their own. So what I ought to know over there is that there's no single way that this is going to be done. Each one has a different way of doing stuff. You need to figure out ki what works for you, what is the thing out. So every journey of someone, you have to find out what is working out. If it doesn't work out, doesn't matter. Change your approach. Go in for something different. Take that. That is what is extremely important. Okay. Uh, so Dhru, uh, we would like to know different techniques you use for the different subjects of the CA final, as in for the FR or law or retention process you follow. All right. So like every subject of just a second. Yes, yes. This there's some, yeah, can you see there's some error? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so like different subjects, they have their own versions. So like for financial reporting, FR, one way to do or deal or get, get a good score in that subject is doing a lot of institute questions. Institute asks a lot of its own questions. In fact, till now most of their, or rather all of their questions have been our own questions. Probably not with study material, but other sub, other things like RTPs, MTPs. So you need to do a lot of those areas in FR. Like for example, in SFM, I remember it's not possible to like if you do all the questions again and again. So what I used to do was, once you've dealt with a question, you, you need to 
mark or you need to find out what you didn't get so if you got a question that's good if you didn't get that question you need to figure out what you didn't get they say as a friend a question you were unable to start how to do the question and there was one adjustment which you couldn't get so usko mark out karke rakhte so that next time when you revise after three or four days or a week then you specifically look at those areas if you look at those areas alag se in isolation that helps to identify weak spots and give specific emphasis so that that helps ki weak spots do not become weak again because for example forex ka ek chapter aapne kiya ab us forex ka chapter mein this one particular thing that one point you didn't understand now you will go and revise the entire chapter of forex so you would still not give appropriate attention to that one point so we need to isolate that one point and do it specifically so that that doesn't continue to become a weakness later on then if you were to talk about subjects like audit and direct tax there's a lot of repetition of questions which is done from past exams maybe the entire question itself is not new but some parts of it definitely get repeated so we we need to do a lot of past exam questions kitne pehle ke past exam questions is one question jitna kar sakte ho aap how far back you can go as far as 10 attempts 20 attempts jitna aap piche ja ke jitne questions dekh sako that will ultimately help you especially jaise audit mein essays usme essays mein you still able to identify maybe essay kaun sa likhna hai but to identify which portion of that essay you want to write in that answer become sometimes difficult so the past exam questions will help you get that you you were then talking about like electives so one thing in that is that you will need to have a good read of the subject it's not that learning is not required but you need to understand that subject because over time those papers are going to become more so where you are going to get some questions which are not just copying from the books so you are going to need to understand analyze a lot of things so you need to have an understanding so one or two reads of that subject along with a good index will help you out then there are subjects like costing and idd so for costing and idd like the, the track record is a little less as in idd because it's gst law and costing in the new course it's a new subject like the kind of questions they are asking even though the topics might be the same but the kind of questions they are asking is pretty different so you need to work out is jitne questions hain unko acche se karna that will help you write answers in a better man, manner जैसे स्टडी मटीरियल में जितने क्वेश्चंस हैं, व्हाट वी डू इज कि आंसर सही आया न्यूमेरिकल मैच हो गया वी मूव अहेड दैट माइट नॉट हेल्प वी विल प्रॉब्ली नीड टू डू समथिंग लाइक कि अगर न्यूमेरिकल मैच भी हो रहा है बट स्टिल अ लॉट ऑफ एलोकेशन ऑफ मार्क्स इन द न्यू कॉस्टिंग इज गोइंग टू बी एन एनालिसिस ऑन हाउ यू आर राइटिंग योर आंसर्स सो स्टडी मटीरियल के आंसर्स जैसे अगर रीड करें देन दैट विल हेल्प यू लाइक गेट दैट आईडिया कि इंस्टीट्यूट के आंसर्स कैसे कैसे लिखने टॉकिंग अबाउट आईडीटी then idt may it's a easy subject like you should choose two subjects at least in each group which need to be your strength like idt and elective in group 2 can easily become your strengths and similarly law and sfm in group 1 can become your strengths fr if on a good day or costing on a good day if the paper comes out well you can score pretty high on it but since those there's a little uncertainty regarding those papers the track record of those questions are little less so again those are like if questions are coming out well then you get good scores in that paper or if they don't then you don't so the questions like the in law sfm idt or elective we can get a good score so that which may help us pull our aggregates so even if we are trying to pass or we are trying to get a rank both of those areas two subjects strength always helps then coming on to the last subject that's law so law may one of the things we should not mistake about is we should not consider the theory subject because agar usko hum theory subject maan ke agar usko padhne chale jaate hain so what happens is we end up learning and mugging a lot of stuff so exam mein jab question aata hai so it doesn't get clicked aapko us type nahi hota hai question so we need to understand the provisions of law try to be able to say things in our own words we should be able to like because there are a lot of small points mostly it's an applicative subject जैसे एरियाज लाइक इकोनॉमिक लॉज है या सिक्योरिटी लॉज है वहां से तभी भी थोड़ा लर्निंग वाला एस्पेक्ट आता है बट कंपनी लॉज से स्टिल देर लॉर्ड ऑफ एप्लीकेटिव मोस्टली इट्स एप्लीकेटिव ओनली सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोविजन एंड गो हेल्प सो दैट्स डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स आई बिलीव एंड व्हाट वाज द स्टडी शेड्यूल हाउ मेनी रिवीजंस यू प्रेफर्ड एंड टाइमिंग ऑफ ईच सब्जेक्ट 
so like uh, different subjects i used to probably take somewhere a differential amount of time but on an average like initially it used to take me much more time i the first revision which i did i never planned on that i need to finish the entire subject in this much time because honestly you've not done that subject even once before so the estimate that you're going to make is not going to be very appropriate what's going to be appropriate is that you give as much time as the subject demands doing the subject perfectly in the first go is extremely important that will help you like get that complete subject in your grip because ek bar agar aapne usko acche se kar liya then the second time becomes easy if you do it in a fast manner in the first go then you'll take more amount of time in the second go so you you need to spend proper time on the first revision then you, every revision that you go so ultimately my last revision i was able to break down to three or four days per subject i i did i i did about three revisions before my exams so that helps so somewhere around three revisions before your exam is generally what helps you because in the second revision i still remember ki kahin kahin lagta tha acha ye to padha hi nahi tha ye is something but you are not remembering or something like that so three revisions is a good amount of revisions i believe and uh, lastly what was the feeling uh, when the you came to know that you had a ranking c final and how was the life so, there <laughs> firstly like i honestly like my paper went well of ca final but i i never had that ki apne ko rank 100% aa sakta you can never predict that so uh, even though your papers go well there are a lot of other factors which play so you need to get really lucky so one of the thing jab my result aaya like ek din hamara prepon ho gaya tha result so morning everybody was like refreshing trying to get that result and suddenly that result came so the moment i put my roll number and my result came the only thing that i saw in the end was that pass pass dono jagah that that's it uske baad it was like i didn't know what individual scores i had or what it was just see a ban gaya and that's good enough then after some time i probably looked ki there is a grand total acha this a decent grand total and it has a possibility of getting a rank so that's when i checked a rank and then i realized acha we got a third rank also in the finals now so uh, the feeling is extremely i in fact becoming a ca itself was so high that i don't really remember what uh, the feeling was while getting a rank okay and uh, tell us something about your new initiative of starting the subject of teaching law yeah so basically i got, got into teaching because i since childhood i enjoyed being connected with academics i enjoyed studying not just school things but also stuff like of google searches or of wikipedia or different books or something so i wanted to remain connected with academics so that was one of the reasons i took up teaching in fact i worked for a few months in my father's companies also but then i realized ki over there it's more like you get one customer you this is the deal that you get this is x goes to peer and some of that was not thrilling enough so this thrill that you are connected with people who are going to become charter students in the future that somehow was what i really like so i decided to go into teaching because of that and among all of the subjects at all the levels law was one of my favorite ones and it was the top contributors also to all of my three ranks so i decided to go in for law because i had made a lot of notes a lot of effort a lot of stuff i had gone into for law so i decided ki this is one subject that i can probably make a difference in and so what are your future plans so as for the future i would be looking to figuring out ways how can i can make this subject easier how i can make it more scoring for for people even today they find that law is a tough subject you don't score as high so i want to figure out ways how i can change that how it can become a subject which is one of the subjects which actually drives your aggregate through and as for like for the immediate future i am already recording like regular batches and stuff so that's what i plan to so one step at a time let's see what unfolds later we have to retain the clause yeah, yeah I, i didn't get the last bit there was a lot of interference so you please repeat that uh, i was saying that i i somehow still can't uh, get that i didn't get there was some interference on your microphone it's yeah your microphone is not working 
now i'm audible yeah now now you're audible yes okay i was telling that uh, can you share some of the retention techniques or practice methods you use to uh, retain all the subjects in law provision section numbers right so so like one of the ways what i did was that i used to make my summary notes which would help me ultimately revise stuff out quickly because if i found that revising from the complete book turned out to be very cumbersome like you had to read a lot of stuff which was redundant was ka koi implication nahi tha you could condense it down not cut out on content but condense it down into smaller stuff so that's one thing i did and the second thing which i used to practice was that jo jo cheeze nahi aate the like there were some topics in every place that yen wala nahi aaya so i used to write them down on papers and stick them on walls of the rooms in my house and jab bhi when i used to see them so like suppose i decided that i want to study 3 hours at a stretch right now and two and a half hours baad i'm like abhi wo padhne ka mann nahi hai so that last half an hour or something i'll go to those sheets wahan par alag alag subjects ka wahan par laga rehta tha kaun sa areas nahi aa raha hai so those areas i would do those areas i, I would revise again and see that those areas are not weaknesses anymore so that helped because like weakness like i mentioned earlier weakness isolation is very important many times during finals apne ko lagta hai ki finals apna clear nahi hoga ya oh, what will happen like so the right question is ki kyun nahi hoga so you, you if you are always because fear aap nikal nahi sakte you, you can't take that uncertainty out so the way to deal with it what i used was ki you need to ask yourself the question that why won't finals go through what is that reason and jo aapko uska answer milta hai ki maine ye chapter nahi kiya hai ya mera ye revision itne acche se nahi hua hai so that answer is actually what your weakness is so that gives you something to work about so finding out areas jo aapko nahi retain ho rahe hain usko alag se laga ke rakhna like for sfm also there are some formulas like black scholes ka ek formula hai uska like till the end aap jab tak revise jitni baar karoge tab tak yaad rehta hai the next week you forget it s kahan par e kahan par log kahan par you you get already confused in that so ye sare cheeze jo hai usko alag se like use a different color highlighter or a marker or something and mark them up so on your last day you need to do that last day mein always you don't need to decide on doing something which is important there may be something which is important but wo aapko yaad reh jati hai so you shouldn't spend time on your last day doing that or sometimes doing something which you don't know is more important than doing something which is important because ek to aap finals mein you cannot decide ki important kya hai and less important kya hai jo aapko chances are less important lagta hai wahi exam mein aa jaye and jo important aapko lagta hai wo nahi aaye so it's more important to do ki aapko jo cheeze aapki weak lagti hai so probably agar aapko koi cheez important bhi lagti hai to usko ek mark karke alag color se rakh lo so if time remains on your last day or jab aap wapas revise kar rahe ho mock test ki revise kar rahe ho jab bhi kar rahe ho to tab wohi aap sab cheez karoge agar time bach jaye to otherwise things you don't know those you need to revise again and so final last question uh, what message you will give for the students who have attempt uh, shifted the attempt and how should they utilize their time yeah so like of course it's very hard and i can only imagine ki second time postpone hona kitna tough hota hai and suddenly jo pura pressure tha apne upar ki apne ko yahan tak ke khatam karna hai our revisions the deadlines were set ki apne ko mid mid tak ke ye revision khatam karna hai ya something like that all of them wo pura fizzle out ho gaya because that pressure is gone and abhi there is a lot of time remaining so we are unable to digest ki how do we deal with so much of time so one thing is ki agar if you are not feeling that motivated to study immediately one thing that you can do is ki for a few days like a week or so you can reduce the number of hours that you study so agar aap abhi 14 15 ghante agar pad rahe the ya 13 14 ghante pad rahe the you can bring it down to somewhere around 8 10 hours for about a week do things jo aapko pasand aate hain so like i used to always schedule things with which i used to like also in a day so everything i don't like if it comes on a day then you don't want to study really that day so there are obviously some areas jo aapko acha lagta hai sfm ke aapko numerical solve karna ya law ke koi chapters aapko acche lagte ho ya costing ke koi chapters acche lagte ho so those things you should do them abhi aap wo cheeze karke so that agar aap ek bar wo routine se nikal gaye if you lose that track of that studies then it will be very difficult to come back you may not actually require that one more time of revision jo aapko time abhi mila hai aapko ho sakta hai wo ek mahine ki additionally zarurat nahi bhi ho but still agar aapne wo abhi agar padhai band kar di then wo आप उसको वापस से वापस टेक बैक नहीं कर पाओगे जितना अभी तक रिवाइज करके आपने लर्न किया हुआ है ऑल ऑफ दैट विल गो अवे सो यू डोंट लीव इट कम्प्लीटली 
some time in the day you can do that whatever time you can do something that you like you can watch netflix or stuff like that like you don't need to be as rigid as you were five days or a week back but still you need to continue doing this stuff and at the same time what you can do is identify areas jaha aapke real marks pad sakte hain so probably take an estimate of somewhere around five marks per subject how can you improve five marks per subject figure out aap ye area aapne choda hua tha ye acche se nahi kiya tha ya fir ye area ko aapne revise nahi kiya tha this area you didn't do everything out do those areas that will ultimately help you to get things like ki aapke jo ultimately marks add karne mein help karega so that will help you get a higher score so even aapka agar sab kuch ho bhi gaya ho so still take a रिकलेक्शन कि आप कुछ अगर आप उसमें एडिशनल कर सकते हो सिर्फ रिवीजन करने से इट रियली यू नीड टू फिगर आउट स्टफ व्हाट यू कैन डू न्यू सो थ्रू थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग विद अस एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर वैल्यूएबल गाइडेंस ओके गाइस इट्स बीन अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस थैंक यू सो मच